Hey everyone, Summer Tom Ken here, and this is the uh, unboxing of my Bixler RC plane that I just ordered uh, from HobbyKing.com. And uh, <clears throat> surprised it it got here um, as soon as it did. It did come from Beijing, from China, and um, but it is here. They said it would take about two to three weeks, but it was here in about a week and a half, so pretty quickly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut into this box and uh, see what we got. Okay, so it took me like an hour just to get the uh, box from China off. They don't want anyone getting into their packages. So uh, this is the box that comes in. This is the ready-to-fly RTF. Um, so there's not a whole lot of putting together. There is some. There are some things you'll need to get, though, for this, and we'll go ahead and get into it and show you. All right, so the parts are all separated here. Everything that comes in the box for the Bixler. <clears throat> kind of go through these one by one. Of course, you have your wings over here uh, with your ailerons. You can see right there. And again, this, this version of it comes complete with the servos already installed, as you can see there. And then, where's the hole there? If you can see it, if it'll focus for the uh, the wing rod for more support. The other wing there. <coughs> and then, moving on now, this version already had um, the fuselage glued together there. So that makes it a little bit easier. The canopy is a little bit different on this than the Bixler one, um, which is fine because I would have taken it off anyway and uh, this is where you'll attach your, your camera. But as you can see, you can get this off without. And here's where all your wiring will go, your battery. Eventually, now this here <coughs> um, is actually a good platform to put a camera mount on already. Um, it's got a magnet here on the back that will sync up with that so that it stays on. Um, it just kind of stays on, it fits right in there. And then you have your motor mount back here and a uh, spot to put the propeller on. Underneath, there's a little latch. Um, this leave is also has a magnet on it. But there, you can see your wires going back for the uh, vertical and horizontal stabilizers back here. And then there are your vert there's your horizontal stabilizer there, vertical stabilizer there. Moving on over here, there's your battery. This is a 1300 battery that comes with it. Um, you can always do upgrades um, to a more powerful battery and even a more powerful motor if you do that. Uh, there's the charger there, the charging cables. And this comes already equipped with the uh, radio control. It's a four channel. And then, <clears throat> of course, you got your your manual here. Uh, most of it, like I said, those put together, but this does show you the additional steps part list there. Some additional steps with pictures, which is good. Or how to assemble the, uh, the plane for flying. Some of the dimensions on this, um, the length of the plane, it is 36 and a half inches. Wingspan is about 55 inches. And the actual flying weight um, with everything put together is right at 33 ounces. So pretty light. Makes it easy to to do a throw takeoff. Um, now, <clears throat> even though this is a ready-to-fly model, um, you will need a couple extra things um, just to 
complete the process of getting it ready to fly. One is batteries, of course, for the uh, for the remote control, the radio control, um, and it takes double A's, I believe eight of them. So you'll need to pick up some double A batteries here. Um, and then you'll need some foam glue also. Like I said, the fuselage is already glued together, but you will need foam glue several other spots for the back to put the stabilizers on um, and a couple other spots as well. So um, just regular foam glue. Uh, I don't recommend getting the thin, um, either thick or regular, just to be to be safe there. I just went down to Hobby Lobby and got some. And this is not a necessity, you don't need this, but this is uh, Instaset for your foam glue. So you don't have to sit there and hold um, the parts in place you know, for 45 minutes or an hour. This actually allows that foam glue to dry within about within about a minute or two. <coughs> so um, now, <coughs> one thing I forgot to mention also in with the the Bixler that it came. This is the rod for the wings, which I talked about earlier. Um, that you'll fit in. It's kind of a re reinforcement rod. If you'll notice, this one is much shorter than what normally comes on these gliders. Uh, one actually sh much shorter than what came on the Bixler one. Um, but it's a lot thicker. It looks like it's made of much more durable material as well. And then, of course, your propellers here. I give you the two options of propellers there. If you do upgrades, uh, motor upgrades and battery upgrades, I'm going to put a GoPro on the front as well. Um, you might want to go with the larger propeller there. It's got some Velcro sticks on here, self-adhesive uh, Velcro kind of squares to put on if you wanted to use those. Um, and then these here are two screws which are going to reinforce the wings on the top of the fuselage right here. Which you'll put on once you put the wings on. So that's everything that comes in the box and additional items you'd need right here. And we're going to go ahead and get started um, putting this thing together. I will have a separate video since this one a little long, um, <coughs> showing the how to put everything together and get this thing ready to fly. So thanks for watching.